Well, Liam, it's uh, hard to believe that it's uh, the new season's kicking off just around the corner. It's uh, been a short summer, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, but I think a lot of players would say they prefer that, to be honest with you. Um, for the first two or three weeks, um, you obviously have downtime. And then after that, it's difficult getting fit on your own. So to have the two or three weeks and then come straight back into training, it's probably worked out for the better. It's been such an unusual time, hasn't it, really? In the last, or with that really extended break due to the lockdown and then, you know, the kind of flash of games, which didn't quite go as we wanted. And, and then this, you know, it's called, you've probably never known anything like it. Yeah, again, but it's, it's a positive, you know. Uh, we're going into a, a new season. Um, everybody starts on level points uh, and it's a great opportunity to kick on. And that's the thing, isn't it? As you say, new season. At the same, this time every year, presumably you're feeling, you know, you just can't wait for tomorrow, right? Yep, it never changes. Um, you're like a, a kid again on the first game of the season. Um, so much excitement, um, there's so many possibilities. So, like I say, it's a great uh, fresh start and, and we go again and, and we look to get uh, high up in the table. Yeah, I think it was quite important in a way to kind of get off to a good start, you know, when, in the cup last week. Probably doesn't have quite the same weight of importance as, you know, any, any given three points really, but it was good to kind of get that first win under the belt and, and sort of play as we did. Yeah, it's like an extended pre-season. Um, it was a game that obviously we wanted to win, so there's more emphasis on the result. Uh, but at the same time, it's good to, you know, get the minutes um, up our tanks, if you like, and, and ready to go into a, a new season. Um, and with the win, it sets us up nicely for tomorrow. Of course, it will be the first match uh, since we've, since Paulo's come in as the manager. You obviously met him out in Portugal, trained with him for a few days, and, and now he's back at Bearwood. What's your sort of first impressions? How are you getting on with him so far? Very, very good. Um, he's came in and he's um, he's got his points across very well. Um, there'll be no mistake on uh, how he wants us to play. Um, you know, he's got some non-negotiables, um, and as players, that's exactly how you want it. Um, we know what's expected of us. Uh, we've trained well, uh, we've tried to get his ideas on board as fast as possible and uh, yeah, it's going to be a great journey um, and hopefully we can start um, on the front foot with results very early and then um, push on as the season goes along. As you say there, we, when it comes to managers and, and people in sort of authority, having those non-negotiables, that intensity, that kind of clear, clear way of speaking, like, this, this is what you need as a player, isn't it? Yeah, and it's clarity. Um, listen, there'll be no mistakes after games uh, on who and who hasn't done their jobs um, and as players that's exactly how you want it. He wants um, X, Y and Z from um, different players around the pitch and you do your job, it's as simple as that. Um, and training has been to that standard as well, um, it's been very high, very competitive and um, I believe we've got a manager that's going to pick uh, teams on uh, performances um, and not just in, in games, in training as well um, and it gives everybody a, a really fair crack. I guess that, that when you say fair crack as well, you probably mean yourself, uh, you know, the senior players and the young boys too. We saw them really involved in training too, which is uh, which is fantastic. So, yeah, with fingers crossed, you know, whoever gets picked will get their fair crack of the whip and judged on their performances, you know, irrespective of age and the rest of it. Absolutely, um, it's another uh, pre-season. It's been a fantastic opportunity for the academy. Um, they've been around the first team on a daily basis. And they should be looking at it and thinking, listen, if I, if I give everything I've got, uh, there will be opportunities there for me. Um, and that's the same as the senior players as well. It's a new season. Um, you can't look back in football. Whatever's happened in the past, it's gone. Um, there's no credit in the bank, if you like, for, for any players. It's about uh, earning your place and, and then maintaining it. I know the manager's got to pick his first, you know, first 11 of the season away at, at Derby. Um, yeah, I guess that's the, the first of, of many challenges. You know, you're, you're looking forward to that challenge in particular going away to ground we went to not that long ago, really. Yep. Um, you know, it's very early for the manager um, to know absolutely insides and outsides of everybody. Um, but I'm sure he'll pick a team um, that he feels fit to win the game. And listen, it'll be a great challenge. Um, like I say, every single time we have a, a game in the championship, it's a, it's a big challenge. It's an away game, but we're going to be going there uh, with a clear game plan and hopefully that sees us, um, sees us through to get the three points. We obviously did go there, what was it, I think it was our second game after the restart. A bit unlucky that day in some senses, I mean, and they've not changed their team too much. You probably know a little bit about what to expect there. Yep, um, and again, it's very repetitive in terms of uh, championship being um, a tough game. Um, they'll be looking to start on the front foot. Um, but again, it's about imposing ourselves, going through the processes, make sure we do our bits right, and uh, ultimately the end result uh, will hopefully take care of itself. And lastly, Liam, you know, it's the start of a, 
well, what could be a very busy month, you know, if we get if we get through to the through the next round of the cup as well, and then you know, the fact that the season is so condensed means it's going to be probably going to put a big strain on the squad this year. But that's a challenge I'm sure you'll uh, look to relish. Absolutely, and um, it goes back to uh, the younger lads seeing opportunities there in front of them. Um, there's no excuses; they need to be ready. Uh, everybody needs to be ready, and and when their chances come, uh, take them.